All right, guys, we're back with another Boozy Shave, the final Boozy Shave of Boozy Shave Week, Sunday Shave, and we're actually using a uh, product that's new in the den, and I've never used this company, so obviously I've never smelt this scent, but I've heard a lot about it when it was originally released, and that is St. James from Murphy and McNeil. Now this is different than the, <clears throat> actually no, this isn't different. This is in the, uh, what they call the Sliot base, and it's actually made with beer. So let me, uh, let me show you guys the ingredients right there. I'm not good at, I'm not good reading backwards, but you can see that first ingredient, stout beer. Stout beer, stearic acid, duck fat mutton tallow, beef tallow, so that's three different uh, tallows there, goat's milk, a bunch of different butters, yeah, good stuff. So, I heard this one kind of smelt like butterscotch, kind of smelt like oatmeal cookies, um, again, kind of like um, the shop's Blackbird Stout, I don't think this smells like stout, I don't think it smells like beer whatsoever. But it does have like this warm, sweet, like baked goods type vibe to it. I could totally see the whole butterscotch, oatmeal cookies. I could totally see that. I will say it's pretty damn similar to the club's black birch stout. But there are some differences. But definitely a gourmand dessert-like fragrance. And uh, right up my alley anyhow. So there we go. St. James. That's what we'll be using today. For the first time, I also picked up another one in their Kodiak base, which was their Nahatala soap. That was a collaboration with Black Mountain Shaving on Instagram and YouTube, or just Instagram. I think his YouTube has a different name. Anyhow, we're going to get started here. I'm going to be using my stainless steel carve with the B plate, and I'm going to be using, for the first time, a treat blade. Treat Platinum that came with it came for free a five pack came for free with my uh, horse hair brush and there was a lot of different options to choose from but I just chose that because I've never used it before so we'll get that back in there lines up perfectly in the carve um, if you guys haven't used them they do come double wrapped so and one thing that I Kind of thought it was a little bit strange in the box here. It says, do not white blade, leave blade and razor. If you leave the blade and the razor, don't you think it would uh, kind of, like, uh, what do you call it, rust up faster? I, I don't know about you guys, but I dry, I, I totally disassemble my tools after every shave. I clean them and dry them after every shave my brush, my razor, and the blade in the razor. I totally clean up after every shave. I'm gonna be using my Vylong Black Horse Brush. Again. And I got some soap loaded up in my Lancaster bowl. So we'll get started here. And I remember to do the Don Younger method this time, but I don't know if I should because I've never used this base before. Nah, I'll just, I'll start with a, uh, a damp brush. I'm not going to do the Don Younger method um, on my first use of a soap because if I fuck it up, then it'll totally be on me. I don't even know if this stuff is thirsty or not. So, I won't do it this time. I'll just do it on bases that I'm a little bit more familiar with. But I promise you, more Don Younger bull lathering methods will come in the future. So, just had a good day yesterday. I got some fishing in, which was nice. I know a lot of people are taking to the outdoors to get their um, social distancing bullshit in. So, I also took to the outdoors. I like fishing. I like camping and hunting. So, I... 
had a good time. It was an awesome day. It was sunny, not too hot, just blue skies, nice warm breeze. Um, it was really quite enjoyable in the midst of all this crap. <clears throat> this looks like it is pretty decently thirsty. I think I've added like three dips of water here. Smells great. Scent strength is probably a six or a seven. It's pretty much like maybe not the twin brother to the black birch stout from the shaving shop, but you know, pretty damn definitely in the same family. Definitely in the same family. This just seems to be absorbing every bit of water that I'm giving it, <laughs> which is great. It's a good sign most of the time. All right, we'll start there. Go ahead and wet the face. I'm excited. There might be a bonus boozy shave coming soon because I won a giveaway from Chris over at IMCDB. I won a giveaway for another uh, boozy themed soap. So there might be a bonus maybe a week from now or so. And it's from a company I've never used before, which I have stated on this channel that I want to try them. So it's almost like a win-win. It was perfect. And even a CDB said it himself, it was almost like it was meant to be. <clears throat> Obviously, he didn't rig it or anything for me. Totally random. But I am thankful for the giveaway. And everybody that can afford to do giveaways. <clears throat> I think I'll save a giveaway for a little bit larger milestone. Right now is kind of the time for uh, saving. Plus, I'm nowhere near anything. <laughs> I, I'm nowhere near a uh, milestone. Uh, with the uh, with my channel, I think I have a hundred subscribers or whatever. So maybe I like five hundred or something if I ever get there. So the bylong, this is only the second time I've used it. It definitely still has some uh, scrub to it. It plays fairly easily. It paints very well. Um, just like I said the first time, if you don't like, you don't like some scrub or scritch. Probably not for you. That might, you know, go away after a uh, break-in period. So, definitely nothing, uh, can't really speak on it until I see. But, as of right now, in the beginning stages, there is a little bit of scrub scratch to it. But we'll see if that goes away. Um, it's definitely not unenjoyable. It's not over the top, but it's there. So here we go. Pass one. Treat Platinum Blade. I've never used that before. The carb pretty much tamed every blade that I've put in it, so... Maybe not a super fair assessment, but we'll see. I know if this just is some awkwardly uncomfortable shave, I'll know. All right, it's definitely the blade. In which case I'll chuck it and try another blade from the package because every now and then, sometimes there's a bum blade, you know, something happened on the assembly line. You can't toss out a brand entirely just from one bad experience, you know. 
it's kind of what that whole second chance thing, you know, brought to light was that a lot of people rid off a bunch of products, wrote off a bunch of products, and after some time has passed, your technique has improved, you come back to them and they're actually not that bad whatsoever. Not bad. I, it almost feels like, you know, there's no blade there whatsoever. It's pretty smooth. That may just be the carve. I might want to try this blade also <clears throat> in my other D's. Carve has a tendency to make everything shine. All right, that was a good first pass. If you guys could tell, that lather was dense. Um, it was a pretty low structure, kind of like I've heard the uh, reference to kind of like a melted marshmallow consistency, where it's just like super dense, um, but not really like pillowy and whatnot. It's just like a real dense, low structure lather, and I can totally agree with that. <clears throat> Definitely had a bunch of slickness and protection. I like it. I like it a lot. I think Murphy McNeil kind of hit the scene and just took off like a rocket in uh, popularity. And I could totally see why. I've wanted to try them for a while, but, you know, with, some, with the industry having so many options, kind of took me a minute there to actually get around to them. I just got some black coffee in here, guys. Sorry. No drinks. drink a bit yesterday so I think I'm just gonna stick with some good old black coffee a little bit of sugar in the raw and we'll get some more soap out of the Lancaster bowl here I hope everybody who wanted to get one of uh, Lancaster's black sheep towels got one in this latest batch that he released yesterday <coughs> Just fantastic. Um, I didn't mention this soap is kind of on the softer side. Uh, easily pliable with the fingers if you push into the puck. Definitely on the softer side. Oh man, that stuff just looks great. Just dense. Very creamy. Scent strength is very present. Just smells like a dessert-like gourmand scent. Very fantastic. Right up my alley. All right, against the grain with the stainless steel carve. So, I have been challenged to the Williams Challenge. I think after Boozy Shave Week, I might get that started. Get that beard hair down there. Um, I also got a couple other new products to the den that we will be getting around to after this. One thing about these themed weeks is uh, they're very fun, 
But if you want to, if you have an urge to try a product that's outside of the realm of the theme, you kind of got to put it on the back burner. So I definitely understand if people, you know, just got one theme shaved in out of the entire week. I totally understand. <clears throat> I'm just doing this, you know, for the, the sake of some content. Normally I jump around very sporadically with my, uh, with my shaves. No rhyme or reason whatsoever. I'll use a warm dark soap right in the middle of summer. <laughs> I don't give a damn. So, first use on the treat blade seemed to be pretty damn smooth. First use of the uh, Sliant base, which I believe just means cheers in, what is that, Celtic? Or whatever the Irish speak, god dang it. <laughs> I just think it's the uh, Irish term for cheers, if I am correct. I believe that's what it is. Looks like we got a good shave. So I'll go ahead and dry off here. We'll get to the post shave. The packaging on the Murphy and McNeil Products, I bought two soaps and two aftershaves. Came in, packaged very nicely, secure. The soaps kind of had a, uh, well, all the products were shrink-wrapped. Um, and then there was kind of like construction paper filler to keep the products from moving around in the box. The aftershave, the aftershaves both had a little uh, canvas sack that went over them. And the shape of their aftershaves bottles are pretty unique as well. Now I noticed one was kind of a white milky texture Whereas the other one kind of had a uh, yellowish brown milky texture. Don't know what's up with that. And I also noticed, I was reading the ingredients list and I asked for one no menthol and the other with menthol. And I didn't see menthol on either one of the ingredients lists. So that kind of raises a red flag. I don't know if there was a little bit of a confusion there but it's definitely not the end of the world if, if there's no menthol I have menthol additive so it's nothing to uh, call and complain about and I haven't even tried the products yet so there may be menthol and maybe they just didn't list it for whatever reason all right <clears throat> let's get into this aftershave so here's that little canvas sack I was talking about Go ahead and open up the top here. There we go. So it comes in this pretty, pretty unique aftershave bottle. Nice labeling on the front. It appears to be waterproof. There's the ingredients list on the back. Good stuff, good stuff. Go ahead and shake it up. You can see it's it's white has this white milky texture to it. There's the uh, somewhat standard restrictor, just a little hole in the middle. We'll get some of that in here. Pretty nice flow, flow restriction there. If 
feels pretty good. Let's get some more for the cheeks. It seemed to absorb very quickly. Oh man, this stuff smells great. <laughs> Oh, I love it. I pretty much, I just smell like a damn walking bake sale right now. I smell like a, a big old dessert, which is fine with me. <clears throat> All right, let's do a little recap. Black coffee. We used our Lancaster bowl, our Vylong black horse brush. I am hoping to break that horse brush in to the point where the scrub or scritch dials down just a notch. I, it doesn't bother me, but I think I would have more enjoyment if it was reduced just a little bit. I use my St. James from Murphy and McNeil in the Sliant base. Very good stuff. One thing I noticed on the inside too is after I scraped that top layer off, you can see there's kind of like a light brown underneath. I wonder if that's going to like turn dark brown over time. Don't really know what that's about. I did notice the same exact phenomenon in the black birch stout from the club. So maybe it's just something with the ingredients they're using. I know vanilla turns soaps brown like that. Uh, the Stainless steel, Christopher Bradley carve razor with a treat platinum blade. Everything worked well today. I got a great shave to finish off Boozy Shave Week. That was awesome. Thank you to everybody who participated. Thank you to my buddy Shave326 on Instagram and YouTube for starting this whole thing. I loved it. Um, good shit, Murphy and McNeil. That was good base, good fragrance. Uh, I'll be using the Natahala soap coming up in the following week, along with a bunch of other new products, as well as uh, my first straight razor shave, hopefully. So, a bunch of good stuff to look forward to next week. Um, stay safe, guys, and <clears throat> hopefully everybody uh, is prepared for this shit. Hopefully everybody has um, the people who aren't currently working right now i pray for you guys i hope everything goes well and you can ride this out the people who are still working you know you're lucky don't blow this you know be smart with your money um but that's that i'm out of here guys thanks for participating have a good rest of the week coming up and uh hang in there we'll get through this